Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. Selected especially for public television. Hi, I'm Gail Farrell here in Branson, Missouri, home of the Welk Resort and the Champagne Theater. Thousands of Americans come here for fun all year long, taking advantage of the many things the area has to offer. This show was originally broadcast in 1976, and I remember it well. It was one of those lucky times when, as the saying goes, preparedness meets opportunity, and I was able to go with the flow. At the last minute, Anna Connie got sick, and Lawrence asked me to step in and sing her number. He knew I could do it, since Downtown was the very first song I ever sang for him when I auditioned at the Hollywood Palladium a few years earlier. And I was happy that I could deliver for my boss. Performing's always been fun for me, so I guess I'm one of those fortunate people whose work is also their play. This program takes us on a musical journey of some of the things Americans do for fun. And here's the maestro now to get us rolling. It's the Lawrence Welk Show. Our theme, America at Play. Now, our host, Lawrence Welk. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you, my good friends. Wonderful studio audience with us this evening. A pleasant good evening, my friends, and thank you for this nice reception. As Bob Warren told you, our show this evening is all about America at Play. Songs dealing with the many ways Americans spend their spare time. So everybody relax as our musical family sets the mood. for recreation, you'll often find that happy 
happiness lies right under your eyes, back in your own backyard. And this is a cue for our master of the keyboard, Bob Ralston. Bob is a star in his own right and has missed a few of our shows doing personal appearances. It's a pleasure to have Bob back with us, and here he is. young man at the age of 15. Now let's hear from our popular married couple, Guy and Ralna. Thank you. You know, in the past few years, it seems that uh, a lot of Americans have had more time for vacations and whatnot, and a lot of them have turned to trailers and campers and motorhomes, pack the whole family in it, and off they go. I'm ready to go right now. <laughs> We're going to dedicate our song today to all the people that have made motorhomes a new way of life. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country roads take me home. Yesterday, yesterday, country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. Take 
me home, take me home, country roads. Guy and Roma can sure sing a country song, can't they? Believe it or not, my husband, Ron Anderson, and I recently said goodbye to the country roads of Tennessee and moved back to Northern California, where we both were born. Who would have thunk it? We lived in Hendersonville, near Nashville, for 14 years. The plane had to land in Wichita Falls to wait out one of those summer thunderstorms. I started talking with my seatmate, Barbara Davis, who mentioned that she was a vice president with Countrywide Home Loans. And as she described a new position she was looking to fill, I said, that sounds tailor-made for my husband. Then I rattled on about Ron's gift for communication and his background in entertainment, business, and teaching. And Barbara said, any man who's been married for more than 20 years to a lady who speaks so highly of him when he's not around must be a pretty good guy. Would you two be willing to relocate? <laughs> she gave me her card and asked me to have Ron email his resume. And he got the job. As a corporate trainer for the second largest lender in the United States, with his territory being Northern California and Hawaii, <laughs> this miracle move has put us near Napa, where Ron's folks and sister live, and just a few hours drive away from our daughter Erin, plus Ron's sons, Grant and Jonathan, and their families in Southern California. Grant, an associate producer on NBC's Third Watch, and his wife Jackie have four-year-old Henry and one-year-old Samantha. Jonathan, global sales manager for Kingston Technologies, and his wife, Leslie, have an 18-month-old little girl named Akemi. We're all close now, so Ron and I can watch those little ones grow up. American youngsters have enjoyed many of the same games and pastimes for generations. Let's join our lovely Samansky sisters for an example. strings you can have your own set of wings with your feet on the ground you're a bird in flight with your fist holding tight to the string of your kite oh let's go fly a kite up to the highest height let's To the string of your kite Oh, let's go fly a kite Up to the highest height Let's go fly a kite And send it soaring up Through the atmosphere Usually, clothes seem to be acceptable for almost any occasion. But Sis and Bobby really believe in going formal, and here they are, putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz.
on the Ritz. I guess most of us would love to just relax, take life easy, and not have a, a worry in the world. If you feel this way, I'm sure you'll enjoy this song by my lovely daughter-in-law, Tanya. I'm just breezing along with the breeze. defines our daughter Lauren's attitude about life. No matter what hand she's dealt, she too goes with the flow, digs in her heels, and to paraphrase that Nike ad, just does it. She was a champion cheerleader in high school, has always had a positive outlook, and is really moving ahead. This spring, she'll graduate from Colorado State as a business major with a concentration in computer information systems. A week after that, she'll marry her high school sweetheart, Doug Ziegler, in Colorado Springs. By the way, Lauren's engagement ring is a Ziegler family heirloom, a mine-cut solitaire from Europe, first worn by Doug's great-grandmother. Having only seven days between her graduation and her wedding doesn't phase Lauren. She's the most organized person I've ever known. <laughs> She's planning the wedding. I'm just advising, consulting, and buying little gifts. <laughs> Ironically, Doug, whose college degree is in resort and restaurant management, has landed a position as second assistant to the golf pro at a fabulous new country club in Gallatin, Tennessee, five minutes from where we used to live in Hendersonville. It's a town that doesn't have major freeways like the ones you're about to see. Bicycling is very much in style these days. And naturally, it's more fun when you have a pretty partner to ride along with you. 
Let's join Norma Simmer and Jimmy Roberts. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm a crazy carriage, but we'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Upon the seat of a bicycle built for two On a bicycle built for two Isn't that fun? Friends, this is not recommended on Los Angeles freeways. It just shows what you can do with the magic of television. Our great clarinet man, Henry Quister, has a very appropriate song for a show about America at play, Time on My Hands. Scott Arrangement. Um, it's always been a great joy for me to find young people and give them the opportunity to develop themselves. I'm extremely happy about Tom Netherton. I just heard that Tom's latest album titled My Favorite Hymns is doing so very, very well all over the country. And I'm going to ask Tom to sing one of the songs from this album. He touched me Shackled by a heavy burden Beneath a low 
out of guilt and shame. Then the hand of Jesus touched me, and now I am no longer the same. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. And oh. Bloods my son made me whole. Since I met this blessed, blessed Savior, since He cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise Him. I'll shout. While eternity rolls, he touched me. He touched me. He touched me. And all oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something really happened, and now. Touched me and made me whole. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. should serve to remind us of the provider of our many blessings. Not too long ago, I put some thoughts of mine to music, which may remind you of your dad, your husband, your brother, or your son. If love is a burning fire, what he Many Americans find recreation in private planes and gliders, along with such related sports as skydiving and the latest fad, hang gliding. Let's see what Sandy, Gale, and Mary Lou are up to. Fluffy clouds move by us See how the morning mist can hide us away And how the day is so much fun Whoa-oh, 
Isn't it groovy in a daydream? Doesn't the day seem like it could never end? And so, my friend, we're one. We're one. Baby, it's funny how I can feel so sunny. When you're beside me, we can fly. Michelle Szymanski, and that scene reminds me, uh, this year marks the 50th anniversary of commercial aviation in America. A lot of people are jogging lately. It's good sport and good exercise. For Arthur Duncan, it means running wild. As you can tell, they're not gaining any weight on this show. 
The theme of our movie titled Picnic seems fitting for the show. Our own George Cades had a hit recording of this song. George, let's hear it. George Cade's arrangement. You know, it's wonderful to have a musical family where all the members are always ready to help each other. For example, right here we had Anna Connie's schedule for the song Downtown, but she's suffering with a severe cold this evening, so Gail Farrell came to our rescue. is making you lonely you can always go downtown when you got worries all the noise and the hurry seem to help i know downtown just listen to the rhythm of the music in the city linger on the sidewalk where the neon signs are pretty how can you lose the lights are much brighter there you can forget all your troubles forget all your cares Surround you, there are movie shows downtown. Maybe you know some little places to go to where they never close downtown. Just listen to the rhythm of the gentle bus and no bar. You'll be dancing with them too before the night is over. Happy again. So maybe I'll see you there. We can forget our. As I said earlier, I'm glad I knew all the lyrics to that Petula Clark hit. 
It's a big city song, the perfect intro to our ambitious and artistic daughter, Erin, who will graduate this spring from the University of Southern California with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in acting. Now, L.A. would be the logical place to stay for film and TV roles, but Erin first wants to do theater in New York City. In fact, her love of stage acting has come from doing so many plays at USC and in Hollywood the past four years. And she's gotten a lot of encouragement from her teachers and directors. Last summer, she had the unforgettable experience of being chosen by audition to attend four weeks of classes at the British American Drama Academy at Oxford. The renowned British stage and film actors who were her teachers included Alan Rickman from the Harry Potter films and Ben Kingsley, Oscar winner for Gandhi. Erin is determined to be an actress and is fully aware that show business can be a roller coaster career. She's seen it firsthand living with her parents. <laughs> Maybe someday you'll go out for fun and there'll be Erin Anderson on the big screen. Sissy and Bobby, Mary Lou and Jack Emmel offer this idea for spending a few spare hours. Take your girly to the movies. Of course, you'd better check the ratings first. <laughs> The next time you want to impress your girl, take her to the movies. We'll show you what we mean. Girls, tonight you're really in for a treat. Oh, yeah? What Tell us. Mean? That's right. Tonight we're going to the movies. How about oh, that? Sounds uh, great. Sounds really good. Take your girly to the movies if her folks have company. When he buys you popcorn and a candy bar, you'll think he's as great as any movie star. Take your girly to the movies, hold her hand and she won't care. When the picture's over and it's time to leave, don't forget to brush the powder off his sleeve. Take your girly to the movies if you can't see her at home. take a trip around the world. But we can all enjoy hearing Joe Feeney and the song by this title. Around the world I've searched for you I traveled on when hope was gone to keep a rendezvous I knew somewhere, sometime somehow you'd look at me and I would see the smile you're smiling now it might have been in county down or in new york in gay paris or even london town no more will i go all around the world for i have found my world in you It might have been in County Down or in New York, in Gay Pottery, or even, you have a very nice wife, sir, thank you, or even London Town. No more will I go all around the world, for I have found my world. You can't believe it? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Next, some dance music. And the band has a song that fits the spirit of our show, Up Alasia River, featuring our fine saxophone section with Russ Klein on the solo. And we invite all of you folks to dance. Are you ready, boys? A one and two and... Whenever my girls would have a slumber party, their friends would always say, Mrs. Anderson, please play root beer rag for us. And they dance like crazy while I played. Incidentally, I always play root beer rag when I do the four wonderful women shows with Ralna, Mary Lou, and Ava. examples of America at play would be a picnic with all the fun and food. Also a ball game, the great American pastime. Eva Barber invites you all to join the gang. When you live in the country, everybody is your neighbor. On this one thing you can rely. Folks are coming. 
we all get together and we celebrate America's greatest pastime, baseball. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. Let me root, root for the whole team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. It's a shame, for it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. the show ends with that song because the Andersons are truly a baseball family. I've been a fan as long as I can remember. After all, Mickey Mantle was from my home state, Oklahoma. But you see, the reason Ron and I have a successful marriage is because I agreed to switch my allegiance from the Yankees to the Giants. And now that we're living in the Bay Area, we'll definitely be heading over to Pac Bell Park. Before I say goodbye, I want to take just a moment to acknowledge my two professional unions, AFTRA and the Screen Actors Guild, for awarding each of my daughters $13,000 in scholarships during their four years of college. Thank you, SAG and AFTRA, for helping dedicated students from showbiz families. And thank you, Lawrence Welk, for setting my career in motion. I'm happy we could spend this hour together, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. This program is made possible in part by a grant from...